chapter one. Well, Prince, so Genoa and Luca are now just family states of the Bonapartes. But I warn you, if you don't tell me that this means war, if you try, still try to defend the infamies and horrors perpetrated by that Antichrist, I really believe he is Antichrist. I will have nothing more to do with you, and you are no longer my friend, no longer my faithful slave, as you call yourself. Okay, can you tell me, um, how does this book begin? Begin with the... somebody say something. Alright, okay, so yeah, so somebody's beginning by saying something. Yeah. And uh, who, she... is, who is he talk? Who is this person talking to? Ah, uh, she talked to the prince because okay, she Okay, what kind of person that. is the prince? Can you tell from now? Well, well, not what kind of person. What's the relationship between this person and the prince? Mm, so far, not sure. Just uh, they they might know each other for a long time. How do you know that? Because if you don't know him, you need to say, hi, hello, my name is, or, or I'm, how okay, do you fine. do? Okay, fine, they're not introducing themselves, <sighs> okay? But then you can also be not, it could be enemies and still do that, so how do you know they're friends or not friends? Because she said something about uh, her own opinion and then they say a lot of words. Can you can you explain to me? Wait wait wait! You didn't words? answer my question. So how what do you question? know? How do you know whether this person is the prince, right? So how do you know whether the prince is this person's friend or not? Can you say slow? I cannot understand you. How do you know? So we know that somebody's talking, right? Somebody's talking. Yeah. Talking to who? Talking to prince. Fine. I'm asking: Is this person somebody? Is this person prince's friend or not? Friend. How do you know? They say, oh, oh, uh, sit down and tell me all the news here. No, that doesn't mean it could be anybody by saying that. Mm, they say, but how do you do? No, we can say that to anybody coming to your house. How do you do? Because you should first say how do you do, but you no, it doesn't mean that you're friend just because you say how you do. I can tell that to my boss and say how do you do. That doesn't mean you're my boss. Is my because friend. you say a lot of. She say say long. So I can say many things to somebody I don't know. I still can. No, I don't know the answer. Look, it says right here, you. If you do these things, then you're no longer my friend. What does that mean? You're no longer my friend. Oh, means you used to be my friend. Mm -hmm. But if you do something, and I will not let you become my friend again. Right. So actually, they are friends. See, they're friends, oh. and actually, they're more. They're more than friends. They actually, you're no faithful longer. He, who is faithful slave? Who calls who's faithful slave? Um, the prince. Yeah. Is the is the is the speaker's faithful slave? Okay, good. And who's who who's who use that term faithful slave? Who uses that term? The speaker. No, the prince. The prince calls himself the faithful slave oh. of the speaker. Oh. See, it says right there, as you call as yourself. As you call yourself, okay. Okay, so oh. this is the faith, the, the prince himself calls himself faithful safe slave to this person. What does faithful slave mean? Slave, I know, is somebody, nuli means I listen to you. Yeah, okay. Fine. I do what you do. Okay, so, and then let, let's talk about, so they're talking about a lot of stuff in, in here, right? Mm, yeah. What's the main thing that they're talking about? Mm, they're not all words, I don't understand. Can you explain to me No, words? I don't want to explain to you. I'm going to ask you what they're talking about first. And later you will answer me the Maybe. question. Maybe. If it's important, I'll try to answer. So tell me, what are they talking about? More important to know what they're talking about first. What's they talking about? I don't know. Nothing? I, I cannot understand. Because I don't know, a lot of words I don't understand. Do you need to know other words to understand? Yeah. Okay, what, do you, do you understand this word here? War, do you understand yeah, this word? Yeah. What does it and mean? War means Zhang Okay, so you, you understand country. that word, right? Yes. So, um, so it's something is about war, right? Mm. So I, I want to know what this means. It's the name of the person, is Napoleon. Okay, so you already know it's Napoleon, so what are you yeah. asking me then? So I want to know these words. Okay. And then okay. this and this is the place, the Gino place. and the Luca. Yes. Oh. Yeah, these two are locations. Locations. Yeah. 
You know where? Uh, Europe. Yeah, where in Europe? I don't know. Italy, okay? Oh, Just Italy. Like Italian locations. Maybe oh. cities or states or whatever. Italy. Uh -huh. Okay. So, they, they belong to uh, Bonaparte's estates. Uh, belongs to the family states, but they, you know, are, are now just family states. Okay, so what about this mean? What does it mean? Are now just? What does that mean? Are now? Uh, now just. means now is belong to, but before is not belong to. Okay, so that so so are so now means that it be, now, now means that currently, right? Maybe just recently, <clears throat> right? They become family states. Mm. Um, and how about this just? What does this just mean? Gong gong. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, it could be uh, like just now, right? Kind of thing, yeah. right? But I don't think that's what I mean here. It just I mean these two plays now is belong to. No, I don't think. I think it means differently. So just has many meanings here, right? So this just means. Suppose this is like. Uh, United States and Canada, whatever, right? Very big countries, right? Mm. And now you say, these things are just family states of the Bonapartes. What do you think that means? Just in that case. Now, this is not like just a little, little place, like a, it's like a big, like big place, like United States and Canada. Mm. What do you think this just mean in this case? In, in no. No, it doesn't. It happened. No, it just it, it, happened. No, this doesn't mean that. So you have to be, you have to read very carefully. What does family states mean? Let's talk about that first. What's family state? Family states of the Bonaparte. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask what's family state first. Belong to the family. Okay, fine. So if I tell you United States and Canada belongs to a family, does that make sense? Like a big country, or let's say, say um, even bigger, say like Australia, South America, all belong to somebody's family estate. Does that make sense? That makes sense. It does. Yeah. How? That means this. You think somebody? Is... You think somebody can own like uh, a whole country, a whole whatever? Yeah. No, I don't think so. It, it, it was... I think that's very hard. Like, like think about history. Like, how many people owned that much, that much land before? I don't think so. Family state is like your land, okay? Since that this family owns this land. Mm. So when you say something like that, like, so this just means, oh, these guys used to be like big places, but now they just become family states of the Bonaparte. The meaning of the just is like, it's saying, well, you know, this thing used you to be like... Can you say slowly? Okay. So you are, we're talking about this just. That's what we're, we're talking about. Just talk about one word, just. Okay, just. Mm. Well, I'm understand. trying to understand what this just means. I understand now. What does it mean? It means um, these two big places hmm? become small parts of one big country, maybe. No, no. Why? It became a family state. It doesn't say one big country. It says a family state. It became like my house. Think about that. These two places became my house. Think about that. State just means your 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 property. Oh, state means property. Yeah. So this just become my property. Mm. So you can think this just means these big things, you know, and look, I just became my family property. Okay. Can you understand what that means? Can you imagine like somebody owns like a whole city or whatever, you know, like their state. So the just means is kind of like almost saying. Oh, such big thing are just these small things now. Not small, but you know, it, they, 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 they look like they're small because one person belongs, one person like owns it now. Yes, I understand. Okay, um, but I warn you. What do you mean? Well, okay, what do you think it means? Mm, remind you. No, it's not a reminder. Reminder means you forgot something. And then you, mm -hmm. you need to be told something. When they say warn you, it's almost like a threat. You know what a threat is? Threat. Oh, threat. Threat. Huh? You know what a threat is? Yeah. Can you explain what a threat is? It means, if you don't listen to me, you will get me. Right, right. That's right. So this one is almost like that. It's almost like a threat. It says, hey, 
if I'm, I'm going to tell you now, if you don't listen carefully, some, you know, something's going to happen. Mm. Okay. So what is the thing that she's wanting to listen carefully to? Carefully is, uh, if you don't tell me, you should tell me this means war. And uh, you should not try to defend. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, great. So uh, we're not going to worry about these big words here. It's not very important to mm -hmm. know at this point. Okay, not important. And you probably will forget it anyway. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can think of there. Basically, we, now we know Napoleon already took some cities. Napoleon, <coughs> And also, whose war are they talking about? War to who? Napoleon uh -huh. was to these two cities. Of course, he's already war. He already took it over. But yeah. what they talking about more it has to be more than that. Doesn't it have a background, right? No, it has to be mean that this this France or whatever mm. is gonna is is basically gonna do war to the whole Europe, maybe mm. including Russia, where these guys are located. Uh. So that's that's why they care about it. This mm. person cares about it. Mm. And 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 this person is like criticizing the prince. Criticize, you know, criticize, criticize. Who, who criticizes who? Huh? Who criticizes who? Whoever's talking here, we don't know who's talking here. Uh, it's criticizing the prince. Criti uh, yes, yes. Why? Why is it criticizing? Because the prince? because there is a word steal. Right. Okay. Fine. This guy is still trying to say something good about Bonaparte. Bonaparte. Right. Mm. Makes sense. He's just trying to defend Bonaparte. Defend means what? Uh, it means mm, protect, uh, support. Yeah, sort of like say why it's okay for Napoleon to do this bad thing. But anyway, so he said that Napoleon is doing very many bad things, and uh, he's actually the Antichrist, whatever. What the perpetrated mean? Perpetrated means perpetrated. done by. Done okay, by. Done why by. they don't use done? Because it's a. This means like. Um, Perpetrated is not just like you do it. Mm. It could be like you help to do it. You, you help to do it. Right. Or you caused it to do it. You or you order somebody oh. to do it. It not, doesn't mean that you did it yourself. Oh. So perpetrated means many things. Like you just, you you made it happen. You made it happen. Yeah, not, 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 not necessarily you done by you. Uh, maybe the person below you. Yeah, maybe. Or you 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 uh, control something. And then because this, for example, if I... If I cut the water to you, I didn't make you die, right? I just cut the water. But because I cut the water to your house, mm. you don't have any more water. Then you're going to die of thirst, right? Mm. So I didn't kill you. I just cut the water off, right? So what do you do is you... So I caused... So perpetrated means that I caused this to happen. Mm. I may have I may have made many things to make this happen, right? Okay. So this... Uh infamies and horrors is bad words, right? It means bad things. Yeah, it just means bad things. Yeah, I can think of horrible things. Horrible that's fine. Things. Okay. So the the antichrist. Antichrist is just somebody. Um, somebody like does a lot of bad stuff because you know who Christ is, right? Jesus. Right. So so the antichrist is basically um, Christians believe that uh, before Jesus comes back again, there will be like a lot of there will be an, you know antichrist there, which means like somebody who is doing a lot of bad things before Jesus comes. Right? Yeah. Okay. So basically, it says if you if you're still doing this defending, that's a warning. If you keep doing this, can you slow down? This warning. Remember the warning, warning. warning I warn you. Yeah. If you keep doing this, then you will not be my, my friend, friend anymore. anymore. I actually, it's stronger that I will have nothing more to do with you. What does that mean? I will have nothing more to do with you. So I will do nothing to you. No, that doesn't mean that. Mean what? It doesn't mean that I will have nothing more to do with you. It doesn't mean that. What does that mean? Just means I will have nothing more to do with you. I will do nothing with you. Nothing with you. What does that mean? I will do nothing with you. Uh, I don't you. No, that's not what I mean. Mm. Mm. It's not. I, it's, that's why. That's why I said I will. Pull we'll you. have nothing. To what bullying means like I'm not gonna pay attention to you, right? Yeah. That's not what it's saying. I will have nothing. To do with you. Yeah, basically, I'm gonna have no more relationships with you. Okay, oh, cut everything. You, okay. you don't, you don't. I, I, I don't even know you exist anymore. Like, you, you I don't want anything. Uh, I, I, you know, 
uh, you tell me to do something, I'm not gonna do. You're not gonna pay. I'm not gonna do anything that you tell me. You're, you're not gonna be. I'm not gonna pay. I'm gonna not do anything that you want me to do. I have nothing more to do with you. If if you if you ask me for some money, I'm never gonna give that for you. Oh, if you ask if, me to do, if, if, if I, I say, I have nothing more to do. With you, no relationship. You don't okay. like. You don't exist. If I say I will have nothing more to do with you, and you, I will not talk with you, maybe. Yeah, for sure you're not gonna talk with me because mm. I don't want anything to do. Don't okay. even spend my time. How严重 So you are no longer my friends. Yeah. No longer my faithful slave. Yeah. Faithful slave. Oh. It's okay. That's that again. Means who calls? The speaker is. Who is, is using faithful slave? Who uses that phrase? The prince means yes. the speaker is much more higher than the. No, prince. no, it doesn't mean because, higher. Because because the prince no, is. No, it doesn't mean that. faithful it, slave. That doesn't mean higher or lower. It just means that the prince. Mm -hmm. Basically says, I will do anything you want me to do. Uh, it doesn't okay. mean you're higher. Okay? okay. Faithful means what? Okay, you don't have to worry. It's like uh, if somebody tells me to do something, I will follow you first. No, faithful means like oh, somebody else tells me. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, some somebody tells me to do this. You tell me to do this. I will always follow what you tell me to do. Oh, okay. But how do you do? Okay, so what happened here? How do you do? Why is it changing? So here you go all about, okay, if you don't do this, I have this big warning, and then you're not going to be my friend anymore. I'm not going to listen to you anymore, whatever, right? Mm. And it says, how do you do? What does that mean? Why, did, why does she care about how do you do? What does how do you do mean? How do you do means how do you do? What does it mean, how do you do? You Yes, how are you kind of thing. Mm. When So when you say all this other stuff here, mm. does this make any sense that she's saying, how do you do no. here? No, it doesn't make any sense. But that's the kind of person the speaker is, okay? The speaker kind of like say something here and then change somehow their mind says, How do you do? Oh, oh how do you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it a weird person? Not weird, it's just the way this person is, right? Oh. So she may think, Oh, sorry, I know who it is, but this person may think about something very seriously. So I want to talk she's first. Think very seriously Be about before something. Before I greet you, I want to say something. Yeah. So she's thinking about very, important. very seriously here, and then change. Oh, how do you do? Mm -hmm. um, I see. I frightened you. Sit down and tell me all the news. Okay. Uh, so this is normal. Like, so you can almost think that this is a normal way of talking. Yeah. Before she, before this person was like giving something very like. The uh, person should first say, "How do you do?" and then. Maybe, but this person is like. Maybe this is such an important, another way to think about it, this is so important to this person, they want to say this first. Yes. Okay, let's finish today's lesson. Okay, bye everyone. Bye -bye.